It is Thursday today, so that means we get to be joined by Eric Raditz and talk about this week's edition of Florida Weekly. Hey, hey Eric. Yeah, can you hear us, Eric? Yes, how are you guys doing? Good. Doing well. Thank you very much for calling in. Of course, one day, one week isn't enough, but we are celebrating our veterans this week, and you guys in Florida Weekly are specifically focusing on four of them. Is that right? Yes, yeah, so this week we're, uh, we are honoring those who are serving and those who have served uh, with s stories of local veterans, uh, Lou Massarone, Ralph Santillo, Carl Pridebore, and Bill Aikens, all who live here in Florida. We sit down with them and find out and then to share with our readers stories of sacrifice, commitment, hard work, and dedication so that uh, we can have the freedoms we have today. And uh, we, uh, it's certainly something you should pick up and read. Yeah, we're very blessed to have that and uh, definitely stories that we need to be sharing. Also, we have so many people moving to our area, the state of Florida in general. So for those people who are new to our area, there's a lot of stuff that they should know about to check out. And you guys are highlighting that this week. Yeah, and one thing that uh, for those of you who enjoy picking up Florida Weekly, you'll know it's a great read and it's always uh, in the know. This week we have something very special. It's our newcomer's guide. So it's a slick, glossy. Uh, it's something that you can use for yourself if you're new to the area, not too sure where to go, what beach to go to, what restaurant to go to, what sports activities, what culture, entertainment there might be. But it's also good for when your visitors come and you know they're going to be coming this season. So it's, this is a slick, glossy magazine. It's free. It's on stands now. It's also online, of course. But it's one you might want to keep out in the, uh, on the uh, coffee table uh, for when uh, your families and friends come down and also for yourself to find out cool things to do if you're a newcomer to Southwest Florida. Lots of great options in Southwest Florida, a must read there. Uh, I can't say that I'm an antique collector, but if I was, Eric, where would I go? <laughs> well, one place you could check out is Ruby Lane, and it, you really are you're showing yourself that you're not an antique nerd, because those <laughs> who have have heard of, uh, of Ruby Lane, and it's a place that, that you can go online. Uh, it's actually founded by Tom Johnson, who lives here in Naples, but it's a highly vetted and curated antique outlet store. We sit down with him, actually, and hear from him what it's like running it in 2020. And he's actually found new revenue lines with antique shows, many going virtual on his site in a line of work that's also ever-changing, uh, while still bringing magnificent pieces of jewelry, dolls, and cool, kitschy collectibles. Definitely, uh, Nate, just check it out. You'll find some cool stuff. Yes. All right, you sold me there, Nate, Eric. Sounds like you got to get into <laughs> antiquing. Okay, last but not least, if you're going out, there's a lot of things to go and check out safely still during the pandemic at the Barber B. Man, uh, gallery opening. So tell us a little bit about what's going on out there. Well, I'm not sure I can say it better myself. Thank you, uh, because we always have a list of things to do in town, a full calendar. We uh, also, you know, everyone, we need to be safe out there and stay committed to respecting each other. Uh, but having to do it, there's still uh, activities going on where you can do both. Like you said, the Gulf Symphony is playing at Barber movie themes at Barber B. Man. Uh, and guess who's coming to town? The New York Philharmonic String Quartet. They actually haven't been doing anything up in New York, but they're going to be down here in Southwest Florida. Gallery openings, plenty to do. Be safe out there. Uh, every week we have top picks in our edition on stands online and on your device and here at NBC2. And I want to say you guys are doing such a great job, and I watch you guys all the time, and thank <laughs> you for all you've, all you've been doing. Eric, Eric thank we appreciate you. that. Yes, we thank appreciate you so much. your work as well. Florida Weekly is uh, where you need to go to get all of your entertainment news and much, much more. Eric, always entertaining and great having you on the show. We'll see you next week.